Hello and welcome back once again to uh, live coverage that's coming your way from the GBK Stadium in Jakarta, Indonesia. It's the 11th edition of the Hero Asia Cup. And uh, it's day two, match number two, where Pakistan take on Indonesia. This is uh, a match of two teams who've been drawn in Pool A. Remember, Pakistan playing out a 1-1 draw versus India yesterday, while Indonesia were thumped by Japan 9-0. Well, you saw the start by the Indonesians who are attacking from left to right straight away. It wasn't a push back, but a run forward on the self-pass. So effectively, they've shown their intent. They want to go ahead positively in this match, albeit against fancied opponents, Pakistan. So I think that's a positive mindset to go into a match with. Omar Bhutta, meanwhile, uh, plays that ball into the striking circle on the reverse and deflection in towards the goal. goal. Pakistan have scored. With just a couple of minutes gone on the clock. And a slap, a reverse slap actually to the far post. And I just Ahmad made it made, made it sure by making a tap into the goal, giving Pakistan a one-nil lead. A very well worked by the captain and on to Moin Shakil who made a reverse pass to Ajas Ahmad to ensure that Pakistan takes a one-nil lead early on in the game. Once again, they're building up the attack this time from the right. Moin Shakil to the captain. Omar Bhutta comes away with the ball, takes on two defenders. It's into the striking circle again. Good pass, but not the best of trapping. Not the best of stick work there on the left. But he's still sound the board. And that's a goal for Abdul Rana. Makes up for that earlier error by scoring himself. That's the second goal of the tournament. That's a very clever a square pass, please. But then he made amends. Collected the ball in the baseline, a left foot outfit, and a slap into the spot, giving Pakistan a 2 0 lead right on early on in the game. As you can see, goalkeeper Fajar Alam mistimed himself and he went right in between the pads. To the right. On the turn into the striking circle. It's a chance for another goal to be scored, and it is. There's a cracking shot by Manan Abdul, sounding the board, and Pakistan go 3-0 up. Look at how calm Manan Abdul was in placing that ball. That is the committee that they were not there yesterday when they played against India. So composed and calm. Now here come Pakistan once again. Into the attacking third. It's uh, three against three now. Can they finish it off? No, I think just getting, the ball just getting caught between the feet of the onrushing striker. It's Ajas Ahmad into Abu Mahmud. Abu Mahmud make, trying to make a square pass. And that is where Abu couldn't get the best of control, tried to regain, but then pass back, back pass to Mohamed Razak, but then Mohamed Razak couldn't get the best of uh, attempt. Penalty corner, this time around for Pakistan. This is the first penalty corner of the day for Pakistan. Okay. The dying moments of the first quarter. Ali Rizwan on the first castle and he scores. Goal! And then he makes sure he made amends for, for yesterday's misses. A firm flick to the left of Indonesian goalkeeper Fajar Alam and you can see actually the Indonesian goalkeeper has moved to the left but not enough to save Rizwan's Ali's flick and there goes the Huta the first quarter quite understandably dominated by Pakistan the scoreline reflecting the same they're up four to nothing We've got a chance here and another penalty corner being earned by Abdul Rana. Very cleverly shifting the angle, moving the entire Indonesian defense. You can see here, sudden pull into the space, brilliantly done, 
and then off a clearance by the Indonesian defender Jerry Effendi quite haste back into Abdul Rada earning a penalty corner for Pakistan is it going to be uh, Mubashir Ali who would be targeted or will they go for uh, Ali Rizwan who's uh, standing in the second castle now they've gone towards uh, Mubashir who's gone on and scored just the sheer power on that drag flick was clear and evident. Basha Ali's simple flick right into the middle. As you can see, the Indonesian goalkeeper Fajar Alam ran to the left, thinking that he's going to flick to the left. But then, right in the middle, had he stayed in the middle, he would have had a chance to save that ball, as the ball would have gone directly to him, giving Pakistan their second goal on their third penalty corner. And here another reverse shot right into the corner by Ajaz Ahmad giving Pakistan yet another goal. I think deflected in uh, yeah. by the defender's stick or right but uh, the goal will stand in favour of uh, Ajaz Ahmad who's celebrating and why not. Now Ali Shan has managed to get a penalty corner for Indonesia. Right, to inject, it's going to be uh, Moin Shakil, and it's been mistrapped. The problem continues for Pakistan. We saw that happen a couple of times yesterday. The missed stop during a penalty corner, but they can still score from here. The keeper foils that one attempt, and but he, he cannot scores. foil Ali Shan's attempt. The reverse to the top corner. Ali Shan, what a cracker. Far post. Calmly places the ball and here they come again into the striking circle a cute right angle but an open goal exactly drawing the goalkeeper at one side and placing the ball to the other side that's the work of Abu, Abu Mahmoud drawing the goalkeeper Spotting in a cutback pass to his teammate, number 32 of Pakistan, Manan Abdul, his second goal of the day. Look at the number of circle penetrations by Pakistan, 16, make it 17 now as they come into the striking circle again, an obstruction and it's going to be another penalty corner. Just what Pakistan wanted. Very well worked into the D by Abdul Rana. Rizwan on the first battery here. They're targeting him and he does not miss. Pakistan Whoa! score yet another one. It's the ninth goal of the match. And it's none other than uh, Ali Rizwan who gets his second goal of the match with a penalty corner conversion. Manan does well, takes it on the reverse. The shot's been blocked by the keeper. But on the rebound, another save. Two and saves by the keeper there. Julius Rumar open. Two saves back to back. Alishan patiently making a square. And the corner. And the hooter goes off. It's nine goals to nothing at the moment. For Pakistan. Japan had scored nine in the game yesterday versus Indonesia. In half that time, Pakistan have pumped in nine goals versus hosts Indonesia. There's another half still to come, but that's the way it stands in the second match of day two of the Hero Asia Cup 2022. For the moment, the players are out there in the middle and uh, play about to uh, commence in the third quarter. It's Pakistan has start right away, moving forward. That pass back towards uh, Ejaz, who seemed to be holding on, who seems to be holding on to his left knee, probably might have taken a knock on that left knee, but uh, the game's carried on, it hasn't stopped. For the moment, Ejaz, with that cutback, there's a chance for a shot, it's taken into the net! What and a strike! Ghaznafar! Ghaznafar Ali! Presented to him, no pressure, 
No player, choose your spot and take a strike. How much can the goalkeeper Julius do? But the Manon Abdul takes that long corner. On the turn here, Ejaz Ahmed gets a penalty corner. A little lack of concentration. Penalty corner for Pakistan. Bright sun coming on now, even for us to be able to spot clearly. This time it's Rizwan and he does sound the board. And Pakistan do score their 11th goal in this match. And uh, pile up more misery on Indonesia. It's the third goal for uh, Ali Rizwan in this contest. Tonight, Mansur in control. Tap to Moin. Moin makes a reverse attempt and scores a goal. What a craftsmanship by Moin Shakil. Pakistan mounting again in these dying moments of the third quarter. And the hooter goes off. Again, another quarter that's been uh, dominated by Pakistan. 12 goals in the kitty for Pakistan. Definitely that's helped their uh, goal difference stat for sure. Indonesia really proving to be no match for the uh, Asian Giants, Pakistan, in this encounter. Here we go. The fourth quarter. La the final 15 minutes of the match between Pakistan and Indonesia. For the moment, Jaz Ahmad has a clear opportunity faking Julius like he's going to make a square pass but then tucking it himself for yet another goal for Ajaz Ahmad. So he's on the hat-trick list for today at the moment. Take another look at this from the acute angle. The keeper has already committed the first real mistake that we've seen from Julius, you see on the replay, he's committed. He's down on his right knee. He's already left that near post open. And Ejaz was very, very aware of what was happening, alert to the opportunity. And he's completed his hat-trick as well. So that's the second hat-trick that we've uh, seen in the match today. Slipped into Abdul Rana. Quick good skills into the lake, but then... Empire disapproves that. <laughs> Gives a free hit against Pakistan. <laughs> Abdul, Abdul Rana. Rana. He's asking for the video referral. But then, you know, Pakistan have already lost one. And they can't ask for another. Three Pakistan players manages to get out of it. But back into possession. And the Huta goes. And, and the score stands at 13. Pakistan and zero to Indonesia. What a game it was with Pakistan scoring 13 goals. A couple of hat tricks here. Among others is Rizwan Ali and Ajas Ahmad. A very tough encounter for Indonesia.